last time we had dinner together. Tonight's gonna be different. No TV. We'll be civilized. We'll use plates and... Yes, I'm talking to myself. He's kicking We're gonna sit down as a family and have a real meal. Pass the potatoes, please. Not your mom. Maybe I'll even say thank you. And no phone, no calls. phone calls. Oh, God, I hate that phone. And nobody leaves the table until I'm done. Thanks, Mom. It'll be lovely. Appreciate the meal. The good news is Kelly's new boyfriend's a billionaire. How come you never send me roses? I like you, Peg. The bad news is he's only 12. How funny is this? Will Kelly marry a munchkin for money? I can do this with my eyes closed and my hands tied behind my back. That's sort of like one of your real dates then, right? Come Married with Children season finale tonight. Whatever you do. Billy! Don't do this, Billy. We can work things out. Don't miss. I want you like I've never wanted any other man. The season finale <laughs> of Melrose Place. I'll kill them all. It may be the last time they're together. No! The two-hour season finale of Melrose Place this Monday. Ah, is there nothing so intoxicating as the school hallway at early morn? School normally doesn't smell so rank. Take that and that. Please don't waste those. Has the life drained out of your living room? Then why not have a Butterfinger Blast? Ah! One bite of that crispity. Crispity! <laughs> Crunchity. Crunchity! Peanut buttery taste explosion <laughs> will shatter your senses. <laughs> Well, that's it for bingo. Try one and you'll insist. Nobody better lay a finger on my butterfinger from Nestle. Five, six, seven, Despite eight, going old, nine, the 56 has a replacement plan, nine, as well as committing 37 errors. People ask if I'm disappointed that the strike is over. For me, just showing everyone how much money could be saved by dialing 1-800-COLLECT. That was the opportunity of a lifetime. I've been here for 500 years. Do you know what it's like to live forever? From executive producers Francis Ford Coppola and Bruce Wagner comes an extraordinary motion picture event. I understand you have a dirty little war going on between the light and dark sides. Journey to a mystical planet of ancient kings, magical healers, and eternal love. Will I see you again? If you're not afraid of the dark. White Dwarf, world premiere, Tuesday on Fox. These people are pros at building houses. I'm a line worker for the power company, a pro when it comes to electricity. I tell them, whenever they're using heavy equipment for digging or overhead work, to check for power lines first. And I'll give you the same life-saving advice. Anytime you're doing tree work or on a ladder for painting, siding, or roofing, stay away from power lines. We all need electricity, but nobody needs accidents. Thanks for being careful. The Connecticut Light and Power Company. Hey, get it today and don't pay till next year. Yeah, buy an RCA 35-inch or projection TV at Bernie's and you'll pay no interest and make no payments till January of 96. Get that big TV you've always wanted with great features like picture-in-picture -picture and surround sound audio. And at Bernie's, hey, you'll get a great deal on RCA's digital satellite system. You know, DSS, hoo -hoo. Hey, a DSS and a big TV make a perfect home theater system. And with our low price guarantee and seven-day-a-week free delivery, why would you buy anywhere else? But hurry, RCA's no interest, no payments till January is a limited offer. What's Connecticut saying about Craig in the morning? The number one button on my radio. Gary Craig. Now he's a funny guy. Robin, here's the man who's taught us everything we know. You're fired, pinheads. <laughs> the perfect way to start my day. I like to listen to Robin in the morning. So I think she just likes to keep Gary in line. Ooh, it's sickening. <laughs> Craig in the morning on KISS 95.7. <laughs> I'm happy for the school. It sounds like this money is going to provide a lot of new opportunities. Take that, Boulderama. Take that, Convenient Smart. Take that, Nuclear Power Play. Do fiddlesticks. Fox Cold Hard Facts. Brought to you by McDonald's.
Bob Sagel won $200,000 playing the Monopoly game at McDonald's, while Joe Harrington Jr. won $25,000. Hold it! So many people have been playing and winning the Monopoly game that many McDonald's are out of game pieces. But you can still be a winner because you made the Monopoly game such a big success, we're giving you a supersized thanks. Now through Thursday, May 25th, buy an extra value meal and we'll supersize it free. That's right, free. Have you had your break today? My official position is left wing. But in the game of hockey, you gotta be versatile. You gotta be ready for anything. I can move from left wing to right wing, or I may even have to cover for the center. But whatever position you play, you gotta be quick. For a little guy like me, be eaten alive. Stanley Cup Playoffs on Fox. Tonight, the critic reviews the worst sequels of all time. Home Alone 5. Ah! On the season finale, coming up next. Tempted, aren't they? I'm not susceptible to temptation. What do you call that? Instant gratification. It's totally different. Milk chuck. No. Dial 1-800-COLLECT instead. Hello. And save the people you call up to 44%. Hi from Snapple. A girl from Mississippi writes, your lemonade tastes better than my grandmother's, and that's hard to beat. Mm. Does her grandma know she wrote that? It takes about 25 minutes from start to finish, and it's very hard to get mixed. Now I have to have my sugar. I'm trying to get some seeds out of here. Three more to go. Snapple, made from the best stuff on earth. All of my grandchildren love my lemonade. Grab your shades and hit the road. The gang from Beverly Hills is taking you to Palm Springs. Forget it, Steve. She's way out of your league. Get ready for the wildest. Waited for you until about 4 in the morning. That's because I was detained by the police. Wettest party of the year. Whoa! Don't miss the two-hour season finale of 90210, Wednesday. As the nationwide push for welfare reform intensifies and as allegations of welfare abuse continue in Connecticut, meet Commissioner Joyce Thomas tonight on the Fox 61 News at 10. I must say Mr. Burns is being awfully inconsiderate. Selfish even. 